Hello everyone, this is Nintendo Guy. Shut up! <laughs> Why? Oh. Shush! This is epic! Listen to it, Nintendo Guy. Rare, where are Shut you? Shut up! Listen. This is history. This is by far the most epic thing I've seen in years. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, shut up! We need to look through the credits. Oh, but come on. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Now we must start. Okay, anyway, hello everyone, this is Nintendo Guy. And Barry Bobbins! And today we are going to play what game is it? The most epic game to have ever existed on Earth! The most wonderful game ever created by man! You know it! It is legendary, it is pure gaming gold! It is almost mythical! And spoken of in legends! Yes, I am speaking of Goldeneye! 007, the first well, maybe not first, but maybe second. On the Wii! No! On the N64, like it was meant to be played! The beauty, the sleekness, the real... Well, maybe not real. Where are you, Rare? You're making too many crappy games like Connect Sports Ladies and... and gentlemen, I, I must ask, I must ask this. Why? Why? Is... Uh, why is it that Microsoft is in charge? Hey, yeah. and guys, before we start, before we start, go back. We need to explain things to people. What we are going to do today, ladies and gentlemen, is we are going to be playing some lovely multiplayer, me and Nintendo. We're going to be fighting and killing each other throughout, uh, hopefully, all of the levels of multiplayer. But go down to cheat options. I think if we have unlimited ammo... What? No, we don't have unlimited ammo. Okay, so we're not going What's to What's use... DK mode? I don't remember. Donkey Kong mode? I don't remember. It's been a long time. So, okay, never mind, we're not going to use cheats. Instead, we are just going to play regular multiplayer, and we are going to try and kill each other. I'm thinking we're going to have a 10 minute time limit. And uh, we do have a notepad with us, and, yes. a, a, and a pen, so we are going to keep track of how many kills we have throughout each level, and we're going to total it up, and then we're going to show you guys our total score for uh, the end of this Let's Play. So, it's Nintendo Guy versus Barry Bobbins. In this epic battle of great proportions! And we're duking it out on the 64-bit Nintendo 64 uh, console. Uh, keep in mind here, ladies and gentlemen, as much as I love this game, I have not played it in years now. Same here, I haven't played it in a long time either, so I don't remember the controls to this game that well, so... But this game, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if anybody else has done a Let's Play of Goldeneye yet. I'm pretty sure they have. Well, whatever. This is break... This is a breakthrough. We are going to bring back what is literally almost a gaming, like, religious icon. We are going to go back to Goldeneye. And it's going to be amazing. Okay, so game length, 10 minutes. Sounds regular. Scenario. So, oh. oh. That's much less than what I thought. So we have one, two, three, four. Maybe five, you unlock six, levels seven. as you uh, go through the game. I haven't, I don't think I've gotten very far in the game, so let's try yeah, Temple. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, at so that means we're going to be an hour and 10 minutes. We're just going to, we're going to do regular 10 or normal scenario. Oh, normal? Yes. That's where you kill each other, right? Yeah. Uh, we got two so players. Yeah. yeah. Um, temple. Seems good. Rockets, what about though? We need to switch that to. I don't know about gold. Well, we got, well, hang on. We got pistols, throwing knives, automatics, power weapons. Ladies and gentlemen, this game kicks the crap out of Call of Duty. Yeah, I know that that game. You know, I hope, I hope to make some Call of Duty fanboys mad. This game beats your game. I don't care how much of a fanboy I sound like and how much of a hypocrite I sound like. This game is gold. Ah, pure gold. What? What? Oh, there's no extra characters yet. Oh, well, I guess I'll play as Trevelyan. Oh, actually, oh shoot. Um, characters, yes. Yeah, yeah, we already have it set. Great. Okay, well, let's change the weapons then. I think pistols. Well, what about health? Hang on. Oh, this is handicap. No, no, let's just start it. Uh, yeah, ten. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. 
Well, hang on. Well, uh, hang on. If you set it to zero, um, it's just normal, right? Where you try to shoot yes. each other and kill each other or something like that. Yes, this is just, just as a handicap in case if you really, really suck at the no. game. Or in case you really want to be challenging. Yeah. So, anyways, now that we're set with that. Oh. Yeah. All right, so we did characters, control style. Okay, I, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I've never, I haven't played multiplayer in a long time, so I really don't know. Plenty of tool. Uh, but, but what's the difference? But, yeah, but what's the difference between each? Um, I think. Let me think. Um, they're just the different control styles. Unfortunately, they don't tell us. That's it. One of the only bad things. I may as well tell you my complaint. They don't tell me what's inverted and what isn't inverted. Well. Test it out, and if this isn't inverted, then we'll change. Or if this is inverted, then we'll change it up. Yeah. So let's get ourselves started, though. Switch the weapons to pistols. Okay, let's just push A. Yeah. Okay, we have one more control style. Oh, listen, I am. We're, we do apologize, ladies and gentlemen. It's yeah, we do apologize. Fourteen minutes, and we're sorry. But this is... We're, we're, <laughs> we haven't played this game in years. And I don't want to use inverted. No, it doesn't do anything. Okay. D-pad doesn't do anything. Why? Why would they do this? What's the point of this? I, okay, okay. I, I'll have to say this, ladies and gentlemen. Although GoldenEye is one of the most brilliant games ever made by man, it happens to be one of the only video games with... Completely useless aiming styles. You know what I think it is. I think back in the I think back in the nineties, uh, having a game like that's a first person shooter. Um, first person shooters that, uh, that I think back in the nineties, it was common for first person shooters to have like it have the control setting. Like did that. we try Good Night? I think we did. Yeah. Okay, so we'll just go just with go just go with Honey. It's the best thing we've got. That's too bad. So now we're playing with a control setting where up C uh, goes down and then uh, and then up uh, and then up C. It's kind of like controlling an airplane, kind of. I don't know. And so at least with this, I can move side to side with the C pad as well. That's another nice thing. At least. Yeah, yeah. Nice yeah. thing is if you push uh, left C, you can oh. actually sidestep. I'm trying to find a. Um, can you open this door? Or? No, that's not a door. It's just part of the wall. I'm trying to find a gun. I'm gonna get you, Barry. I'm gonna get. You. Where'd you go? Or not? Why well, didn't just call you Barry? I'm trying to find a gun. I just called you Barry. What was that about? How do you switch to guns? Oh, A button. Eat lead. Wow. The <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Uh. This is gonna be just as epic as like Boondock Saints. Eat the eat Do you think we should try it with auto aim? I don't know what auto aim is. Auto aim is where the cursor will all automatically go towards the uh, character, kind of like a magnet thing. Actually, I think that this is more challenging. Yeah, but it'll probably take us a while. Meh. Well, if the, if we find that it's taking too long, then sure. Oh, it doesn't take me too long. I don't know what's going on with you. Oh. This feels so weird. I this guess. is like, this feels completely different to other first person shooters out there. Yeah. It's strange. It feels so old and draconian almost, but it's so wonderful. Well, you know what? Back in the 90s, this is what people had to play first. This is how people had to play first person shooters and stuff. No, I don't mean that. I just mean the level setup. It's so interesting and ancient. It's, well, I, I don't mean the temple itself, but just the way that they set it up for the N6, like the graphics and stuff. It's old, but it's beautiful. Where are you, my pretty? Where are you, my pretty? Why is it so hard to find a gun? Like, you first start the level and you can't find oh, a I gun. I found a couple. How come? You're probably just not looking hard enough. They're on the ground. I'm I found, find I find boxes. I'm coming to get you. I'm coming to get you. I'm I found you. I found you. Oh, you can't jump in there. I'm coming to get you. I'm coming to get you, Nintendo guy. Bam! Not so lucky now, are you, punk? Another beautiful thing is that after you kill your enemy, you can keep shooting their dead body. I like, uh, and like blood appears while you're shooting it too. How do you open That's doors exactly? Press B. Oh, B. Where is he? I'm going hunting for Nintendo guy. <laughs> Where'd you go? 
I like this music too. Goldeneye had probably one of the most interesting soundtracks as well. Uh oh. Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> Forgive me, but I, I, I accidentally screen hacked. And I figured out where you were. It was an accident though! Come back. Come back, my pretty. No, you're going for a door, aren't you? You're going for a door, my pretty. Yeah, does it creep you out at all? Yeah, it does. Oh, just, uh, just stop, okay, please. Okay. You sound like some creepy. My pretty. You sound like some creepy child molester thing. Sorry. I beg your pardon. I do believe I'm going to have to come back to your house tonight and slit your throat. Yes, you should do that. And dump your body in a river. Yeah, so anyways. And then you could say, ha ha ha, watch your story, Nintendo. <laughs> yes, watch your story indeed. Uh, what a never ending story. But that's life, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Ah! There he is! There he is! Eat this! Oh, <gasps> headshot! Boom! Headshot! That was actually well placed. Well done. Well done. Just hold down the R button and BAM! In the head! You know what I also like about this, too? Is that when you uh, when you get up from having fainted, um, your camera is like adjusting so that it goes straight again from like a um, lopsided angle almost, which is kind of interesting because it gives the impression that your guy is standing up, which is kind of interesting for this day and age. Oh, this I love too. I love looking out here in this little area. You can see on my screen uh, the sky. It's really pretty and cool. Also, I think I might want to say this as well right now. Uh, I personally am really wanting to do a uh, Perfect Dark review. Not Perfect Dark Zero, but the original Perfect Dark. And I've been uh, begging Nintendo Guy that we could do it. And we a might reviewer do Let's Play. Let's Play, sorry. And we might end up doing one in the future. Uh, not necessarily for sure yet, but we just might be. So keep your eyes peeled. That'll be good. Where are you? Where are you? My pet! There you are! <laughs> Aim down! I love the noises that they make when they hit. I'm coming to get to you. I don't think you can crouch down in this game either. That's a, a shame. Yeah. Well, but you gotta get you gotta adapt to old classic first-person shooter. Yeah. And plus, it's not like it ruins the game either. Not being able to crouch. It's just it's a lot tricky if you've played if you're if you're used to first-person shooters on the Xbox 360 and stuff. You're you, this is going to feel pretty weird though. Yeah. But don't worry, you get used to it after a bit. I think. I know I did. Um, are we going in circles here? I have no clue. I think that we're both going, no, maybe you're just going that way, I don't know. You seem to be, sometimes it seems like you're getting closer, but farther away. I like, I just really like the the old style um, video game setup, I gotta be honest here. I'm sorry if I'm praising this game too much, ladies and gentlemen. Mind you, I did mention, you know, the camera angles, which kind of suck and make me mad. But this was also a common problem, I think, for a lot of N64 games anyway, so... Oh, 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 there he is, there he is. No, 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 no. You swine! Did I actually hit you? Yes. Got him! Mwah! Nope, nope, shoot the dead body. So, yeah. But um, I don't really mind the camera angles too much. There's something that you can adjust to. And to be honest with you, um, for some reason, the N64 was able to pull off using the inverted camera angles for this game. Um, like, it's not super difficult for some reason. Huh. Uh, and it, uh, I know it sounds weird. I'm not an inverted, uh, an inverted controller type guy. But for this game... It seems to work. It seems to be not too bad. Open the door. 